Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. Today's video is a rant session. I'm gonna be training solo cup. I would say right now, my biggest problem with the game has to do with the storyline. The storyline has changed so much. It makes it very confusing because there are the old characters and the old character stories, but now the characters have changed and a lot of personalities have changed. You know, just a basic example of Loretta. It's like, what story is the actual story of the game? Let's move on to your submissions. The first one says, they ruin the vibe with the new Dark Riders. Like, seriously, they're a joke. I... I guess I should say mostly agree with this. So what happened at the Jorvik Stables open house? I feel like that was pretty cool actually. In the concept art, there was one dark rider who was holding a stick and looked like a candy girl. And I was like, why does this look like a Fortnite character? Another example with Katia, she used to be so scary. The next one says, I feel like the game is not fun and- <coughs> Excuse me. And the realistic roleplay community saves it from dying. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna burp again, so hang on. Okay, I'm good. I would add to that and say just the roleplay community in general. Like, all kinds of roleplay. The social aspect, they can use roleplay to make up their own- what am I making? Sealing wax? This is just a random thing that popped into my head and I got inspired. Oh my gosh, everybody's gonna cringe at me from playing Roblox Royal High with my sister and then it's the Royal Ball at the end of every single night, okay? The kind of game, what is it called when the arrows come down and you have to press them at the correct time? But you have to do it as a partnership with someone else and it makes it so that you interact with other players, just mini games in general that would be at, you know, different events like the disco every week. The next one says, when you find the perfect set and then realize the colors don't match perfectly. This one's too relatable. I have actually had to try so hard to get away from things not perfectly matching. For example, this outfit, like this color isn't exact. I tried to make it match the sock, but it definitely is not exact. And so I kind of had to compromise a little bit. The next one says, Idris is not hot. He is a horrible person, a pixel, and he's annoying as f Oh my God. I love you so much. Oh my goodness. Hold up, hold up. I don't even care if I fail at this point. I have to get the materials, even though I hate Farah. I think it's a little weird that the old Idris was old, okay? Like the old Idris had grayer hair and then they made Idris younger and then a bunch of people started doing like edits with Idris and be having crushes on Idris before he was just that old dude at the circus. Does Justin still have his gray hair? For some reason, Justin was graying a little bit before. And did Josh have gray hair too? I don't know what it was about Star Stable and the male characters having gray hair. The next one says, I love how SSO is growing, but I wish the community wasn't so toxic. In my eyes, I try to see it as, okay, in every community, there are going to be toxic people. It's really what you make of it. And I remember a long time ago, things would go way wrong. <laughs> there were times the game would shut down for like a day at a time. I'm not joking. And that's why there are old random t-shirts that say, I survived update such and such because things happened. But then they would make a joke out of it and it would be like, okay, whatever. And I'm sure nobody at this time thinks of that random day that they couldn't play for a day now because, oh, it turned into a funny situation. And now if that happened, I feel like it would be the end of the world for a month. I do appreciate the growth of SSO. It's starting out as a game with you could have one horse and the starter horse was extremely confirmationally off and now there's so many improvements. Love the game, but the horse buying culture is extremely toxic. There's so much pressure on new players to spend money on the game and buy new horses. 
I know that they don't need to, but the pressure is there. I don't even know if it's just new players either. And then there's some weird thing about the Starcoin bundles with the pets. I've seen this in my comments, but also on multiple social media platforms where people ask, what horse should I buy? And it's like, why don't you buy what horse you personally want? The next one says, I am baffled that our characters still cannot jump. Now that you say that, me too. That is not even something that I think about. It used to be something that people would think about a lot. The next one says, I can't wait for a horse game to come out that's actually good so we can all forget about SSO. At this point, with where SSO has come, I do not think that people are going to forget about SSO. Yes, there are games that are catering to what people do do want they're still not competition for a star stable in my opinion maybe they will get there someday who knows the tales of rain ravine person is absolutely making horse game history almost on her own which is insane and then of course something that annoys me so much is the people complaining oh my gosh, you have to pay for the Patreon. This girl, on her own, she did say she had some help from a couple other people or something. Don't quote me on this. I don't exactly know. But put so much work over a long time into the Tales of Rain Ravine, what it is so far. And then people are like, oh my gosh, like we have to pay $4 on this Star Stable game? You have to pay if you were using the regular currency in the United States for star coins. You would have to pay almost $30 to get the new halflinger. Like, come on. People are like, oh my god, like, I just want a new horse game. And then don't support a new horse game that's clearly not a scam because there's clearly a demonstration of what is going on. The next one says, I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't like the Aculty course and my bestie loves it. Okay, that is definitely not true. There are people who like and dislike every single horse. Everybody has their own opinion about every horse. So never feel like you're alone if you hate a certain horse because there's different horses for everybody. The next one says, I hate that there is a limit on how many Yorvik shillings you can have. Can they one day explain the limit? Why? Why? Is it because they're afraid people are going to exploit it? What is, I don't, what is the point? To get something in the global store that is 10,000, you have to basically go over your limit. Why can you have unlimited star coins that you can buy with real money? <coughs> God bless me. A lot of people in the rant box, they did say, oh my gosh, like Star Stable, I'm so sad. It's becoming boring. It's been a thing for a long time where people are like, I think Star Stable is going to shut down. I think it's going downhill. Oh, I'm saying this and the next one says, I never go on there. The game is so bland and I truly regret the amount of money I spent on the game. Okay, and scrolling through this, a lot of people are saying that they regret spending any money on the game. I don't know if this will make you feel better or worse. I have no idea. I'm trying to make you feel better about the situation. At one point, did it make you feel joy? At one point, did you have a good time? If you say yes, then that's what matters. Just because you don't enjoy it now doesn't mean that you have to have regrets about the past. You can look at the past and say, oh my gosh, like I really, you know, enjoyed that time I had with my friend or club or whatever the situation might be or I thought this quest was cool, blah, blah, blah. Or I bought a horse and it was exciting. If you enjoyed something at one point, I don't think it's a waste. Also, scrolling through a lot of people are also saying that they feel bad that they're growing out of the game. People grow out of a bunch of stuff. Like, let's say that oh, now I'm just running around not doing races. I need to go do a race. Let's say sports in real life, like you could say any sport. People, a lot of the time, end up growing out of a sport that they play. Motivation and interest for things ebbs and flows. And I feel like a lot of the time when people aren't interested in SSO for whatever reason, because naturally life is going to ebb and flow, so your interest for the game is going to ebb and flow, 
when it ebbs, people are like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna need to quit. This is so sad. I don't like the game. Chances are your interest is going to flow again. You might have a different experience. So who knows, okay? Growing out of things is natural. All I wanna tell you is you're going to be okay. And maybe you feel sad because you want to feel the same enjoyment again that you felt at one point. At that point, you can say to yourself, I'm really glad and thankful that I had the experiences that I had and that I did enjoy it at one point. And that was great, but it's also okay to move on or come back when I want to or when I am interested. There's different ways to look at it. The next one says, SSO should bring back caring for your horse at stables and the winter tolerant restriction. I did like the winter tolerant restriction because it made certain horses special. The caring for your horse at the stables thing, no. <laughs> because here's the thing, let's say you're trail riding, okay? You can technically pick your horse's hooves out wherever. The next one says, I secretly have my two horses role play and have a full. Is that normal? Yes, love your videos. Thank you. That is completely normal, I would say. I mean, when I was younger, I wanted my starter horse to have a kid. But you are normal. You're okay. I love you. Keep on doing... What the f... The next one says more star coin codes. They did used to come out with a lot more star coin codes. I feel like every birthday, it would be... My horse is shaking. The next one says, the fact that the pasture in your home stable is a void instead of a field where you can see your horses. I have a feeling that they're going to change this soon. The next one says, I feel like the game is just so expensive. Just what the fuck, $30 for a thousand star coins? That is why only buy star coins on the double weekends. I don't care if it's your birthday. I don't care if it's a holiday. Just freaking wait. You can get 100% more star coins if you wait for double weekend. The next one says more inclusivity with non-binary, male, etc. when it comes to our own character. I've said in the past, you know, I'm kind of a person who's on the side of, yes, I would like male characters. I 100% understand the reason why in the first place, Star Stable decided to make a game with female characters because at the time, this was a long time ago when Star Stable came out, it's been, it's been years at this point, females were underrepresented in video games. They wanted to do something for girls. I'm not trying to downplay the fact that women in history were extremely oppressed, okay? I'm just saying that now in current times, Things are a lot different. At this point, I feel like it would be an okay time for, this is personal opinion. We're coming to a time where people identify as they, them. They don't identify as a specific gender. And so I don't think it would be a bad idea for Star Stable to branch out. What am I doing? I don't wanna, I don't wanna clear out weeds for the hermit. I'm running away. That is a very, touchy subject though i do 100 percent understand that aspect of it the next one says i don't know what it is but the horse mood system i liked it better when it had the face color i agree with you i feel like a kindergartner when i say that i still don't understand the mood tracker thingamabob like this thing i feel like it gave the horses more of a personality actually when it had the face the next one says, the filter. People will always find a way around it, so what's the point? Okay, the point is that in the United States, there are laws protecting children online. No matter what, Star Stable does not have a choice whether or not they have a filter on their game, on their chat system or not. I do like how the filter system is now where 
you don't automatically just get bans where they block what you say before it comes out and so then you don't have to deal with the bans because that was crazy at one point that was wild almost everyone i knew in flower girls at one point there would be two people chat banned at a time and then we'd be like what did you say and then they'd send it and it was like always something so benign and we'd be like what like how did you get chat banned for that the next one says I feel like some people in SSO take things so seriously. From my experience, I can say that. Bottom line, this is a horse game. I'm trying to see a different perspective here. A lot of people are very attached to this game. People use this as an escape. People use video games as a hobby, an escape, you know, a way to enjoy things when their personal life is not enjoyable. And so that can be a reason why they take things on here seriously because they want it to continue to be enjoyable for themselves and others but again it is a horse game bottom line the next one says riders don't trot on the right diagonal and horses aren't on the correct leads go off it is very annoying to me the next one says I'm so sick of my friend trying to get me to do dirty roleplay with her, lols. You need to lay a boundary down. People think, oh my gosh, if I tell my friend no, they're not gonna like me anymore and their, you know, friendship means a lot to me and I want to keep that. You can say no. And if your friend still tries to convince you, oh yeah, let's do this when you're not comfortable, then they're not a good friend. So that's end of story. The next one says... Spirit should come back and with rain. No, spirit should not come back to Star Stable. The next one says, oh my gosh, why is this related? I want Jojo Siwa back at the disco. The next one says, give us cuddle animations. I hope you mean for the horses. If they gave us cuddle animations that we could cuddle our horses, okay, specifically our horses, then yes. If they actually gave us emoticons that said cuddle, I could go up to Jasper right now, like my favorite dude, and okay, just kidding. I can see how that would be a complete disaster. That would be even worse than adding male characters to the game because a lot of people are on the side of like, they're going to add male characters and then the characters, people will do romance and it's like, what year do you live in? They're gonna do that no matter what gender is on this game. I don't like how SSO is using once a year events to introduce the updated Dark Riders. If they weren't deciding, oh yeah, let's make them screw up the event every time we do an event, then I would probably have a better outlook toward it. But I'm gonna end this video because I've been talking for so long. I hope you guys enjoyed this training time. Thanks for watching. Bye!